Hey, happy new year. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to tell you 30 things that we're going to declutter to just start our new year off fresh. I got my little list here. Got a little helper here. Jason's here to help me also. And so these 30 items that I'm going to tell you about, one, you're definitely going to want to do. Two, I definitely did myself and I'm so happy that I did. And some of these things are things that you would totally know and some you might be like, oh, that's a really good idea. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and definitely like the video. And so let's just get right to it. All right, number one, we're gonna get rid of last year's holiday cards. I know, I know, we love them. It's hard to part with them because people put time and effort into it but we don't need them. What are we gonna do with them? Unless there's something super special like a photo on it that you just absolutely love, or maybe it's your great aunt Sally who you want to remember this letter from her always. Other than that, it is time to let them go. I would record any addresses or phone numbers or anything and then chuck them into the recycle bin. Okay, number two, let's talk about cookbooks. I have so many old cookbooks that never, ever, ever get looked at, ever. I have one prized one that has a couple of my very favorite recipes that I will never get rid of. Let's let them go. We don't need them. They're taking up space because every recipe you could ever even imagine is online. So unless it's, you know, I have my special cookbook box that has all my special recipes, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about all these cookbooks that take up so much room. Time for them to go. <laughs> and then on top of that, let's talk about magazines. Okay, everybody knows if you follow me on Instagram, Tea Time Magazine is my favorite magazine. I love it. And I keep every issue. I don't know why. I, I read it. I never go back. I'm gonna let them go. It's a, I feel a little bit like a hoarder. Um, so I'm gonna let them go. There are a couple recipes in here that I do really like that I am gonna write down and put in my recipe box, but I know that I have access to this online, so I know they're on there. I just like, I don't need all this. So let, let this go. Recycle bin. Next up, number three, let's talk about socks that don't have a mate. This hangs in my laundry room. It's lost socks. I go through this all the time to see if any of them match, and if they don't, at the end, it's time to go. Throw them away. What are you gonna do with them? Time to recycle them. Sometimes I'll keep one or two as a rag, but nope, time to go. Okay, let's talk about last year's wrapping paper. I don't know if you are like me, but I'm so guilty of every year buying new wrapping paper, and then I think, oh, I have a bunch left. I'm gonna save this for next year to save myself money. And then the year comes around and I wanna buy new wrapping paper. So I suggest you either recycle your wrapping paper if you know that you're really not gonna use it or make sure you store it correctly to where it still looks nice because most of the time when I keep my wrapping paper, it is not stored nice and so then it's crinkly and then I don't want it. And I think that's why I end up wanting to buy new wrapping paper. So let me show you a way that I came up with to store my wrapping paper that has actually been successful and I'm definitely doing it this year. Okay, so this is just an old garment bag that I had. It actually says Michaela Weiser second. It was from dance. And I just keep this, Lily. This is, this is my birthday one. And I just put them in here and it keeps them nice and from getting like all messed up. You can fit quite a few in here. Let's say I have one, two, three, four, five in here right now with all the other sides still like totally available. This is, and then I just hang it in the closet. It is such a nice way to store your wrapping paper. And so I highly suggest this if you're going to keep your wrapping paper from year to year for Christmas. Okay, number five. I want you to throw away last year's planner or calendar, whichever one you use. If you have a wall calendar, if you have a planner, Throw it away, just throw it away. <laughs> I, for years, have hung on to mine thinking, oh, I'm gonna need something that's in there. What, I've never, ever, not one time, went back and looked at them. Recycle, gone, you do not need it. It's clutter that you don't need. And if there is something important in there written down, go ahead and write it into your new planner just so you have it. But other than that, let's recycle that. <laughs> Okay, next up, number six, is 
I know my daughter's gonna kill me for saying this one, but it's time to get rid of those old movies that you do not watch. <laughs> I don't even know why we have all of these movies. There is only really one movie out of all of these that I actually come and get and put in my DVD player. Other than that, I watch movies online, I watch them on Netflix, I watch them on Amazon Prime. I never get these DVDs out. And so, time to toss them. Why, why are we holding on to these? And then if you have VHS tapes and you don't even have a player and you're never gonna be able to watch it again, time to get rid of those. And also, if you don't, like say you have home movies and you have no way to watch them. There are some really great boxes out there that you can ship off and have them made into DVDs. My daughter did that for my birthday. And so that is a really great suggestion. But otherwise, guys, let's declutter. Let's get rid of these movies. Okay, number seven is we're gonna get rid of expired medication. This is a little tub I keep in my medicine cabinet. I can probably guarantee the first thing that I pull out of here is gonna be expired. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see. Maybe this one isn't, this one looks newer. Oh, this one's actually good. This one's good till March of 2022. Woohoo! I don't even wanna know. I scare myself. Born. You're never gonna believe when this expired. November of 2010. I am so glad I made this video so I can actually go through and do this. This is crazy. Is this one gonna be just as bad? Oh, this one only expired in 2019, so that's that's better. I'll be here a while. And just a reminder that most likely your local pharmacy will have places where you can drop the medications to like dispose of them properly. Um, because like some of this, I don't even know about and you don't wanna just throw this in the trash. So make sure you dispose of these properly. Okay, number eight is expired spices. I go through all my spice drawers, look at all of them. I actually started being a good girl and doing this last year. Sometimes it's hard to find the expiration date on these. Oh, here it is. Oh, so this one's good. Yeah, this one's good until 2021. So that's this year. So we're still good to go with this. But I'll sit here and I'll go through all these. I have to be careful because sometimes my husband dumps ones from the other into that. And I'm like, what? How old is this? But then I also have ones that are brand new and never used. And then half the time they'll be expired. Ooh, this one's good till 23. Okay. So I'm going to go through all these. But on top of that, included in number eight, let's talk about expired food. I usually go through my entire pantry. It's been one year since I reorganized my pantry and so I need to do it again, but like this is good until April of 21. So I'll just sit here and go through each item just to make sure we're still good till 21. The majority of this should be pretty good because I'm trying not to hold on to stuff. Oh, this one expired. This one is time to go. And do not give your expired food to like a food shelter or you know, like a food closet. They don't want your expired food either. Okay, number nine. Let's talk about old chargers and cables. Like if you don't know where they belong or what they go to, sometimes I hang on to mine for a while and I'll make a little shoe box and I'll put them all in there and I'll label it so I know what it is because every once in a while I will realize, oh, that was the camera cord. I've been looking for that everywhere. So I highly suggest that the ones you're just a little iffy on, put them in a nice organized you know, way in order to keep it. But then the ones that you absolutely know, like I have camera cords from years ago that I'm like, I don't even have the camera anymore. Why do I have all this? And so toss it, get rid of it. Um, a lot of times uh, electronic stores, you can take these types of items into. Definitely a good thing. Other than that, time to get rid of these. Okay, number 10 and along the same line as number nine is old remotes. Sometimes we have this remote basket because you know everything needs a remote nowadays. But like, okay, let's talk about this remote. What does this even go to? Doesn't even have batteries in it. <laughs> Anything. Go through your remotes, get rid of them. The ones that you know you don't use, you don't recognize, you. Do you even have the product anymore? If you don't, time to get rid of these. Oh, hi. <laughs> Item number 11. 
go through your freezer and see what's in here that you have lost track of and just get rid of it. This, time to go. Time to go. <laughs> what's this? Who knows? <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's a cooling thing. I do want that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then, check. Number 12, change your toothbrush every three months. And the beginning of the year is a good time to start the cycle. So you change out your toothbrush first of the year. <laughs> Skills. <laughs> Number 13, let's talk about appliance manuals. I have my dishwasher. I got the user manual, the installation guide. I got washing machine, dryers, refrigerators. I have everything. These are handy, but the majority of these are now online. So I suggest checking, and if not, to I would get a folder and keep these very nicely. I actually keep mine in my laundry room in the cabinet, and that way I have them all together. But if these are available online and you don't ever need them, get rid of them. For number 14, I brought you out here in my really messy garage to show you what you need to get rid of because why do I have all these? Get rid of your old license plates. Look at all these. I don't even know what, oh, this one's kind of cool though. These are from years past. I don't know why I have them. I'm going to get rid of them. And so a really fun thing that you can do with these is you can, um, Cut them out and make really cool magnets. Um, I've seen all kinds of different things to do with these. So if you're crafty and you would like to recycle these and make something cool with them, that's a really fun idea. But don't be like me. Don't just let it sit around for no reason, just junking up my already junky garage. <laughs> number 14. Goodbye, old license plate. All right, number 15. Umbrellas. And I don't mean throw away your good umbrellas. But don't be like me. And I have this closet here next to my door and I have all kinds of umbrellas in here. And sure enough, the one that I'm gonna open and get is the broken one. This one, but I'm like, oh, it still stays up kind of so I can use it. It won't click anymore. But then when I take it out in the rain, it starts coming down and I'm like, ah! <laughs> Why do I have this? Throw it away. I'm just so cheap that I'm like, no, I'm just, it'll be fine. I can still use it. I can just hold it up. Maybe I should get new umbrellas. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, broken umbrellas, number 15. Goodbye. Number 16, super specialized kitchen gadgets or appliances. Do you need them? Are you actually using them? Did your dear Aunt Sally get you an air fryer that you never use? Or how about when the Instapots were all the rage? Do you use it? If you don't, you need to get rid of it. This one? <laughs> This isn't even an appliance, but this one cracks me up. This is like a like a cereal dispenser. We got this because we did like a uh, we did like a brunch, and it was so cool for that. How many times has it been you know used since then? Nothing, none. It's just a dust collector now. Why do I still have this? Maybe I think, oh, I could use that again in the future. If you haven't used something for the last year, or sometimes I give my husband the last two years, and you still haven't used it you can live without it. So, specialized kitchens, appliances, psh, goodbye. Okay, number 17 is we're gonna get rid of wire hangers. Yes, if you've seen the old movie, Mommy Dearest, where she's like, no wire hangers. That is what we're doing right now. First of all, I can't stand these things. I hate how they get hooked on my sweaters. I went out, I invested in some nice wood hangers I like how they have the curve. Yes, this is a luxury. This is not something that is needed, but oh, you'll be thanking me about it later. <laughs> also, you could go to Ikea and they have like the black velvet ones really inexpensive. And it looks so nice to have your closet, just all the hangers just hanging so nicely. This is a definite must. You will not regret it. I did this a few years back and my clothes just hang so much more nice. So number 17, we're getting rid of the wire hangers. We are doing an upgrade for 2021. All right, and number 18, old clothes and old shoes. Time to go through, pick out, did you wear this last year? Does, you know, 
I do the Marie Kondo. Does it spark joy? Do you like how you look in this? I go through all this and definitely clean out my clothes now every year because I have a, like a lot of t-shirts and stuff. It is time to get rid of all that. So number 18, old shoes and old clothes go through, time to donate. Coming up soon, my entire master bedroom closet is getting a makeover. I have way too much stuff. Stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, get rid of it. Okay, number 19, let's talk about expired makeup. Did you know that your mascara should be replaced every three months? And then on top of that, your foundation and your concealer should be good for a year. And then things like eyeshadow and lipstick and blush, those are good for two years. Other than that, you need to go through all of your makeup, clean it out, and start new, because you do not need that in your life. So number 19, expired makeup. Number 20 is donate your old glasses. When you get a new pair, you can take your old pair that you no longer wear and you can take them to like Walgreens and different places and donate them and then they go to someone in need who can't afford them. Or, unless you're like Jason, feel free to show them your glasses, dear. <laughs> wear them. Order new ones when you drive over your old ones. <laughs> Don't donate ones like that. <laughs> All right, number 20, donate your old glass. Number 21, does anyone else have a closet in their house if they had teenage daughters that's like this? Clean out your old formal wear. I don't know what you think you're gonna do with it, but, <laughs> but it's time to go. Definitely number 21 for the new year. Let's clean out closets like this. I can have this whole closet. Clean out old formal wear. Bye. There is some really fun stuff in here though. Really pretty. Oh, a lot of fun memories. Look at all that. There's a lot of really cool places that you can donate dresses to, um, especially like organizations for like girls that can't afford prom dresses to where you can like go and give them to them and then they can just have them. And it's a great way to recycle things like this. So that's definitely what I'm doing. So. As much fun as all these were and great memories, it's time for them to be put to use by somebody else. Number 22, takeout menus and condiments. How many packages of ketchup or of Taco Bell taco sauce do we need? If you're hoarding it in a drawer, get rid of it. And takeout menus, unless your favorite Chinese restaurant or whatever is not online, every single menu is now online and so Time to get rid of all this paper clutter. Number 23, old toys. Do your kids have tons of old toys just sitting around everywhere? Every brat doll, every Barbie, every little item that you can think of that they never play with anymore? These are great items to donate to other children in need. We do not need all these toys, especially if they're not played with. If they're played with and they love them, obviously don't get rid of them, but number 23, Definitely get rid of your old toys. Number 24, your sponge. Did you know that you should replace your sponge every month? And in between, like to keep it nice and clean, run it through your dishwasher. That is a great way to help sanitize it, sterilize it, just get all the yucky germs off of it if you're gonna keep it for the entire month. But if it's been a month, time to go. Number two to the five. Change your old filter. You should change it every three months. Make sure the uh, arrow is facing the right direction of your flow. The way I make sure I get it right every single time is to look at the arrow before it comes out. And I also, on the other side that you can't see, it's my handy dandy cheat arrow. It says air that way, because I forget. <laughs> nice. And yes, and every three months, and unless your filter is like some specific bougie one that wants you to do it a different time. So. Yeah, then you can go three months in a week. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> All right, number 25. Okay, number 26. You've got to get rid of the games that have missing pieces. I have found in all my kids' old games, there's like so many missing pieces. And I'm always like, oh, we'll just, you know, use this for that or whatever. And then we never even end up playing the games. So, yeah, time to either replace the game, upgrade the game or something, but get rid of your games that have missing pieces. They're just taking up space. Number 27, get rid of your old business cards. Did you get a new job? Did you get promoted? 
Did you change your phone number? Get rid of your own business cards. <laughs> Maybe the business cards you have are less informative than they should be. <laughs> Ooh, that one's a handy one. <laughs> Just to recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> okay, number 28 is plastic containers. Yes, there is such a thing as having too many. Do you have all the lids that go with them? Do you have the ones that are stained by spaghetti? Some of these have lids and then I don't have a bottom to it. Go through, really evaluate which ones you actually use, you really need, and clean these out. Number 29, let's talk about craft supplies. Oh my goodness, I just, look at this. I just have drawers full of all kinds of random things. And so I'm actually gonna go through all my craft supplies and get them cleaned up and really decide like, what do I need? What am I using? And that type of thing. And so number 29, go through and declutter your craft supplies. <laughs> okay. Number 30. <laughs> yes, last but not least. Last, but certainly not least, get rid of your old paint. Properly. Yes. Tell them about whether you can properly do this. Um, I would suggest pouring it into the creek behind your house. <laughs> um, leaving it out. If it's lead-based paint, leaving it out where small children and can chew on it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And um, Great. Yeah. Anywhere near an open water source that's <laughs> contaminated. World. Call your local, is it like, what do you call it? Environmental Protection, Environmental Agency. Yes, and find out what the proper way is to dispose of your paint. And did you know that you can actually store your paint for up to 10 years if you don't do it like we do, and actually keep it indoors? Because when it's outdoors like this, it breaks down super fast, and so it doesn't last very long. But 10 years if you keep it inside, we're going to change that. I'm going to stop putting it in the garage because I keep dumping out old paint. Yeah, so... Really? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you liked all of these tips. I hope that you'll use some of them for the new year and get your house decluttered. Don't forget to hit that like bell, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.